Welcome back to the North American Journeyman. Today, it's CONCACAF World Cup Qualifier action as we take on 8th ranked in the world, USA. Here they are. You can see they're pretty stacked. Ranked 8th. Maybe that's inflated because they dominate CONCACAF, but yeah, like Gio Reyna's 26, so in his prime at Dortmund, his entire career in this save. He's injured. Hey, uh, Pulisic is at Milan still. Just earning $8 million a year, playing some games, doing okay. He's all right. You got Swonina at Chelsea, the goalkeeper. Looks like he's like their main goalkeeper. Weston McKennie's still at Juventus. Lots of this movement doesn't really happen because we're in 2029. Like Chris Richards at Crystal Palace. There's just way less transfer activity when you don't load the European leagues. But anyway, Yunus Musa, apparently, he's at Zenit, St. Petersburg. Interesting. So that's what we're doing today. Even though today is we play two, we play the Central American Cup second leg against Santa Ana at the, the same day as this game, but I'm not going to show you that one unless things start to look a little iffy, but we should be able to get through that tie. We're missing a couple players because I called them up for the national team, but this is what we're going with against the USA. We're just going to go with our system. If it doesn't work against them, then we'll, we'll learn from that, but it, it is what it is. Is there any changes I wanted to make? We just freshened up the wing backs. Hall's back in from suspension, and he's an absolute monster. But yeah, I think that's what. Oh, and Chacon came back in because he's a little. He's got this bad morale, though. Because he's alienated and he wants to leave Saprisa, apparently. I'll take you. 28. Probably want a bunch of money. Maybe. We don't really have any to spend. Oh, and I just... Okay, it's whatever. I think I had that team set up how I wanted it to go. You have to pick both teams before the game or whatever, so... I think... It's going to be the Santa Ana Alajuelense game first. So, I'll be back if things go bad, but we're playing USA today. No, it's going to be this, I think. I don't know which game is going to show up. This is something that probably shouldn't happen, to be honest. That's why in real life you can't really coach both teams at once. But it looks like they're playing this system? What? Well, anytime I see that, I like to do this. Okay, all right. We didn't need to to cut away right yet, but so we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do the USA game. We're in. We're at home. This is in Saprissa Stadium. We don't play in the national team stadium for some reason. In a World Cup qualifier against the United States. Okay. Take a draw. Honestly, with this group, yeah, Honduras is already beating. Honduras is the main rival for getting that second position, qualifying directly for the World Cup. So if we could get a draw off of USA in one of the two games, it's probably better than what they're going to be able to do. And then we just match them. Win, 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 win away, lose at home or whatever, how it goes, then we should be able to get qualified. But Honduras, from what I've seen, has the better regions than Costa Rica. Crossed in, Pepe, far post. 
That was Barcelo's first cat, by the way, in the last episode, the 17-year-old goalkeeper who's starting this one. And we did break the record for the youngest player ever in the CONCACAF qualifiers with that 15-year-old center back. Leonard Lilo crosses it in, far post! Barcelo didn't look too confident there. Who's Leonard Lilo? Is that an actual player? It is? 29-year-old left back? I don't know who that is. It's a nil-nil, and if El Salvador can grab some points off of Honduras, we have 58% possession. Let's get more. Maybe we should go cautious. Bennett's not looking too good on the left wing. Might have a solution for that, though. Driving. Oh, they got numbers. They play it out wide, just like where we want them to. Crossed in. Goalkeeper. Good from Barcelo. Pressing us pretty high. What can we do here? Can we build or are you just going to go long? All right, Hall. Superstar left back. Plays a superstar pass. Aguilera driving down the left wing. I like it. Find Ugaldi. Find him. Low cross. Gonzalez. His shot is blocked. Otherwise, that might have snuck in there far post, and we're giving USA a game. Here we go. Chacon was rising, but he was late. Go, Marine, what can you do? What can you do? Lose it to McKinney. Still our ball, though. Yeah, that's probably the end of the highlight. It is. Mexico's on two wins out of two. I mean, yo, I'll take this. It is the home game, so... Good passing so far. Keep going. Weren't that bad. Keep going, that's fine. 6.5, you're not, you're not really a massive goal scorer. I mean, Bennett is just so good. But Marin isn't playing good. You know what I'm going to do? Jorge Torres. He normally plays over here for me, but... Actually, can Bennett play the other side? He can! He's... left-footed. Oops. Let's try it. Let's try it. And then, about 60 minutes, swap them back. Confuse them. Because if they start marking them, they're going to be all out of sorts. Ron Wilson's tired. This is a game where I don't really want to make many subs, though. Because I don't really trust too many of the people on the bench. Here we go. Here we go. Where? Who's that to? Ugaldi didn't seem to know where to go there. Can you steal it off the back of him? No. Tyler Adams bursting through the lines. Playing out wide. Lilo Pulisic. Drives in. Scores it. Unfortunate. To be expected. Is the trainer running across the field again? Why does this happen all the time in my saves? What, yeah, what is this guy doing? I mean, yeah, Rowan Wilson is dead. We do need to score a goal. So we're going to do this. You can go roaming. No, roaming is further forward. Deep lying. And Aaron Suarez. He's been training as a center midfielder support. So we're going to do that. We're going to swap you guys back around. Winger. And you can go winger attack. Don't lose it to him. Come on. I 
Harrison, Pulisic, Adams, they've got numbers. They're looking to break us open, crossed in. Moose is there. Barcelo does okay, I guess. He was there, kinda. Gonzalez isn't playing good at all. No, not shoot on sight. Through the middle. Try and get through the middle. Just try. Corner. Gamboa's there. No, Polisic out to Scally. And they're on the break. You're gonna let Scally go through on goal. Tackles it right to Polisic's feet. And he scores a second one. Dang. Well, goal difference might matter, so we don't want to go crazy and get smashed. That's crap. That's not good. Oh, I mean, the tackle, I don't mind it, but uh, the slide tackle pass, that's the, that's the football manager I know and love. Honestly, I'll take this day if this stays the way it is. Bennett is done. Espinosa can come in. And you know what? Ruggiero up top. Campo has been really bad. We're actually going to take Campo out because we need to rest him as much as possible. For, that's right, a 15-year-old center back. Jorge Gutierrez. I don't even know if his potential is like five star or not or if that's gonna stick or like if this is good for his development or bad i have no idea ruggiero though steals the back pass and we grab one back can we steal a result here as i bring on a 15 year old center back against the eighth ranked team in the world i know they're probably not the eighth best but whatever here we go this is what we're going with Push these boys up a little bit. We're just going to try a little something. You know what? You like wing back attack? I like that idea. Actually, you can even go here and do that. We're going to go attacking and we're going to go for it because there's a point on offer now. Um, yeah. Yeah, always press him. Ruggiero, I think that's Ruggiero's first cap, actually, and first goal. I just want this to stay the same. If we could grab a draw. Steal it? Steal it off Scally? Nice! Torres, get to it! No, Quesada Thorn heads it down. Back to Suarez, scores it! It's two to two! Nice! There we go. And we have grabbed a point, potentially. If we can close, I'll take the point. I'm not pushing for more. Are you kidding me? With the way the other results are going and stuff? Yo, I wish I could bring him. Can he play center mid? None of these players are defensive at all is a problem. Espinosa can play left wing. Torres doesn't ought to do anything. Ruggiero, I don't mind it. Yo, here we go. We're going cautious. Keep the trap outside. Slow it down. We're going to stick with the counter press, though. This has worked. Waste that time. Hey! Kidding me? Are you kidding me? We pulled it back and moved to the top of the table. Look at this steal on Scally. Doesn't even steal, it just goes cross. It's cross time. Good from Thorne holding it in. Beautiful pass. The Alahua Lenze connection. Torres to Suarez. Pause. Praise? No, encourage. They're all pissed. Well, yeah, because they're, they're angry. No. 
kickoff highlight, they're going to score on us. Come on, I didn't pull it back that much. Josh Sargent, no. Espinoza, Josh Sargent, Booth to Pulisic. Are you fucking kidding me? Kickoff on the fucking kickoff. Fuck! That's harsh, man. Pulisic scores a hat trick. You know what? You're Pulisic. Oh, I want to be called Pulisic because it's more American. Then add a K to it. Can we grab a third? Come on, show him what's up. He's offside. Come on! Get me riled up in the North American journeyman. This is why I like, dude, he's not offside. Your lines are wrong. And Honduras just won too. Man, maybe some more time here. More time for a USA to grab a fourth probably. For Pulisic to grab a fourth. Crossed in, headed down. It's in for four. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This is why. I'm gonna throw this against the wall. No, whatever. It's fucking... That's harsh. Man, that is harsh. 94th and 96th minute. I mean, it was harsh for us to come back first, but then, dude... All right, you... All right, I'm going nuts. That's that makes me that's why I like this game. That kind of stuff makes me like it more despite what you're watching right now. Getting all flushed and worked up. I don't like it. I don't like it. What did you what were you doing? You weren't there. Defense did bad. Not happy. Honestly, like the yeah, the main guys they came in were Suarez and Torres and Ruggiero. All the whole Enzi guys. So we're, I'm not going to show you this one unless it gets a little bit weird. But. Oh, disappointing. Now we have to beat Honduras. Or at least draw. Because then it would be really bad. Especially with what we had. All right, we'll be back. All right, let's keep this pain train going. Despite what you might see. Despite what you might think, I actually do enjoy this. That's why I get worked up into it. I don't know if other people do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when you feel robbed sometimes, it just, ooh, it gets under your skin. You just, the blood starts flowing. Start feeling pretty good. Anyways, Alvarez became a Costa Rican citizen. Finally, the paperwork went through. He took up nationality because he believes, because he believes he is good enough to play for Costa Rica. So I asked him to, and he rejected it. Because he's impressed by USA's reputation. He must have watched the last game. Anyways, oh, in the midweek, or literally the same day, we lost to Santa Ana. But it was 4-2 aggregate, so we got through. Punta Arenas turned around their tie, and they beat Olympia, so we play them. And the other semifinal is Montago versus Saprissa in the Central American Cup. I realized I probably should have shown you these two games and turned it into an episode, but instead we're going to make this a triple header because we're going to we're going to try and play USA again and see what we can do. And this is the most important game, and look how tired all of our most important players are. Isn't that fun? So we've got. Ian Smith, Victor Vega, sorry, Rowan Wilson, you're just going to play again, tired. Um, Danny Gonzalez is kind of dead. 
I can drop you Galdi in. And then we could play Ruggiero up top. Jimmy Espinosa. And that's probably going to do for now. They don't... If tactical familiarity is an issue. But this one is important, so I don't want to just chop and change everything. Center backs are kind of dead. Probably play Calderon. I don't like that his morale is low, so I don't mind playing Calderon. He's really not that good, but... We really need a good performance in this game. Oh, you do not probably pressing forward as well. You play attacking forward. There we go. That helps a little bit. And that's, I think that's going to be the team. Gamboa's dead. Rowan Wilson's dead. I mean, I don't know. We were so close. There was, there was the comeback. And then there was, we gave up the goal, but then we had the third goal to make it 3-3 that got disallowed. And it's just, it's just pulls you back and forth and back and forth. And you think you're, you know what you're doing. But this is the one that really matters. They're playing this system. We might. Yeah, go on. Go ahead. Force them outside. Yeah. It's a battle. What are the chances of me selecting a naturalized? Yeah, of course. I'd love to talk to him. He plays center back. We don't have center backs. We need the center back depth. I'm playing a 15 year old. Against USA, I mean, the game was well done by then. I can't really blame the 15-year-old. It was more... Quesada Thorne was the right back. Kind of just let Pulisic get in behind too easily. Let's go and pull up the league table. The annoying thing is that Honduras scored a 91st-minute winner against El Salvador. Because I was expecting to lose both games to USA, but... They would have dropped points, would have made this a little bit better. This is the away game against them, so a draw would be okay. Over the top, Espinosa, what can he find? Anything? Aguilera draws inside, scores Ruggiero. Good, he wasn't coming back from an onside, or from offside, rather. still think about that last game we should have won the the game that we lost to Santa Ana as well we should have won that one that was we hit the post a couple times they only had like two shots on target penalty he's gonna look at it how often does this... It's been a while since I've seen the looping run from the... He's like waddling. How old is this guy? Look at that. Look at that angle that he takes. I mean, they give it, right? It's been a long time since I've seen this because I don't play in leagues that have VAR. No penalty. No era penal. Never a penalty. Well, Swonina own goal in that game. If USA wants to drop points, I don't think El Salvador is really a threat since we beat them 4-0. That was the home game, though, wasn't it? Tagging free kick in a dangerous spot for Pena. Ooh, off the post. We clear it out, though. Whew. Here the posts or the underside of the crossbar. 2-1 USA over El Salvador. It's like Mexico's cruising. Curacao might qualify. Suriname over Guatemala. God, it's so unfair that us and Honduras are in the same group. But it is what it is. Gives us more interesting games and in qualifying. Potential that we don't get qualified. Handball? No, we clear it out. Looks like we're 
kind of back in here. Def good block there. Is that called her on? Yeah. You know, cautious. Work the ball in the box, really? Maybe. Had her up. We got to try and clear this stuff out a little better. Good save from the 17-year-old goalkeeper. I always backed him. Oh, play, play it ahead. I mean, they got three people back, but that could have been a three-on-three -three opportunity. This highlight goes on, though. I'm not, that's not going to be us, though, is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, and there it ends. Interesting. We do have the possession. Yeah, at halftime, we'll, we'll say work the ball in the box. I don't like work the ball in the box usually against a defensive formation like this, though. Rowan Wilson again. He's just... We're doing good. Keep going. Keep going. Was it Ruggiero that scored again? He might be the man for us. He, really, he hasn't been great for Liga, but... Gaboa hasn't been great for the national team. Any changes... Get rid of that. We'll go for this. Narrow it up just a little bit. Here we go. Can we grab a second? This would be very useful if we could win this game. Wilson loses it, and they're on the counter. Looks like they've got some numbers, too. Get a tackle in. Here's where you take yellow, Gamboa. This, this is where you don't let the cross come in. Uh-oh, goalkeeper's on the deck. Flores, Garcia, basically to an open net. And it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, boy. Oh, you gotta get to that, or just watch it go out. Everybody's crowding in. Oh, that's a good ball to Garcia. It's so many numbers. Come on, guys. Far posts. We're just, we're getting beat. We're getting beat to every second ball. Probably because our ball-winning midfielder is dead. He's the only player that knows how to play defense. Not a good defensive header. You just let that run through. Low cross in. And that one's going to be a penalty. He's not looking at that one. That one, I think, is a penalty. Come on, Barcelo. It's, it's, it's just something else, isn't it? With the Panenka, Barcelo is just, what is he even doing? Well, rescue us, Suarez. Marin cutting inside, crossing far. Ugh. Oh, it's just not meant to be. We can't lose this. We, holy, we've not created anything. Oh, now float crosses. Yo, I think you should work the ball on the ball. Actually, go ahead and float. Lose that. We gotta, we gotta do something. All right, Gamba. 15 year olds coming in for you. Can 
Rivas, his pace is through. He misses it, though. Rivas is super quick. Beating the 15-year-old. I mean, Ugaldi's just not doing it. Torres can play up top. Double advance forwards, whatever. Is that my last sub? I don't care. Man, oh, mm, come on. We need to fight back and get a draw here. A loss really makes it difficult for us to get through. We just, we would have to beat them at home. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it really forces us, forces our hand. Here we go, Bennett. What can he do? Finish. There we go. Do we go for it? We're already in a crazy attacking formation. I've made all my subs. Go for it. Whatever. We got a 15-year-old center back and a 17-year-old goalkeeper who's not played good in the last two games. And nobody in the midfield who can play defense. What do you do then? Go attacking. Try and score more goals than a far post. Come on, Suarez. Nope. Garcia, don't let him cross it in. Don't let him cross it in. Another penalty. Dude, come on. I, this is, this is madness. This is crazy. He's going to Panenka it again. Is it Flores again taking it? Davy Flores? Come on, make the save. Barcelo! The 17-year-old the goalkeeper. He wants to go to the World Cup. Does anybody else? Come on. Come on. We're doing this. We can't play defense. We're, we're already giving away penalties. So what's the worst that can happen? We really just are not getting to the ball. Yeah, confirm. Tackle them hard. Let's go. I will take a draw. Oh, look at all the chances. The XG difference. I mean, they've had two penalties, the third disallowed, so. Smith? Smith? Oh, he really needed to hit that harder. He tried to, like, place it. Almost worked, but he really just needed to put his foot through that one. Do we go on here? No. But we go on here. Torres? No. What was that? I have it on key highlights. I do. Barcelona's on a 7.4. We're going to give away a late goal, aren't we? What are you jumping at? It's 10 feet above your head. It's 3-2 to two in the El Salvador USA game. Late winner? Corner kick? These aren't close. I don't know why we're seeing these as highlights. Maybe just because I have it on attacking. I'm not going back into a defensive shell, that's for sure. Well, it's like I thought. It was going to be a close run contest between us and Honduras. Didn't play great, but we got the result. Gave away two penalties. Saved one. And USA running away with it, unsurprisingly. We play them next. It's a triple header. It might as well be. It's the last game of the international break. So we'll be back against USA in America. Okay, we're back. Triple header against USA. We're going with a bit of a weird one. Take in any, def any semblance of defense. Don't care about it. Doesn't matter. Playing Ugaldi back here as an advanced playmaker, also number 10, but kind of shifting over to the right a little bit. And then Suarez is going to come in. So we took Rowan 
uh, Wilson out. Is that his name? Yeah, Rowan Wilson. Torres come in on the left wing. Ruggiero scored two goals and two caps, so he's starting for sure. Give him a start. He earns it. He earned it. Swapped out the wings, wing backs, and then Chacon's going to come in just for a little bit more fresh legs because we are struggling for fitness. Juice and Bennett is just so dead tired every single game. So let's see if we can potentially beat Estados Unidos. I don't like it. We have to believe. I'm delighted for Aguilera. He's a beast. He's playing a deep line playmaker role. Probably gonna start this way and then move Ugaldi out to the right wing if after it doesn't go well here in the first couple minutes when they score an early goal. Because that's probably what's gonna happen. But we'll see what happens. Hopefully Honduras drops points against El Salvador. Come on, let's not give him one so early. Hey, that could have been one of you two guys. You guys could have got on that. I mean, that's that's what it is. What, what are you going to do? There's nothing we can do here. We're going for goals. We're going to outscore them. Come on. Don't worry about it. Who cares? Who cares if they score? It's like they're playing a pretty well full-strength team. 2-0. This is the away game, so I didn't really expect us to do anything here, but... I mean, we should probably just end the episode now. Well, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I don't think you need to see the rest of this, because it's just going to... No, we'll... We'll carry on for those that like the pain... Because who knows, maybe we'll come back from down 2-0. 3-0. Oh, it's being checked, but I'm pretty sure that's a good goal. Let's go ahead and berate the boys already. Because it's 3 to nothing. I mean, I didn't change the system so much that we deserve to go down 3-0 in 15 minutes. That's a pretty crazy header, though. And goal difference might be a factor. <sighs> Header clears it off the line. The highest rating we have was a 6.6, .6, but now it's 6.5. Highlights are coming in thick and fast. You'd say, oh, you should probably play more defensive, but then it's just our player... Then it's just our players sitting back playing defensive and they're not good at defense. So it's like a lose-lose. <laughs> good save from Barcelo. I mean, we're not playing like... Yeah, advanced playmaker is fine. You can go to attack. Do something. Like, just do something. You know, we're not playing Brazil here. We're playing USA. We're playing Christian Pulisic. I mean, this does happen in Costa Rica sometimes. USA does beat them pretty, pretty badly. And we clearly have an issue with defensive players, so it's it's not too surprising. But with that first performance, I had a little bit of encouragement, and that's where everything went wrong. But we need to not, like, don't dribble. Just make the pass. There, There's plenty of space to make passes in this field. And then just a 
nothing ball to no one. I mean, this really actually looks like a CONCACAF game. Guy falls over as he tries to make a tackle. Weston McKinney, Carter Vickers is injured. You should probably take him out. They're just working us side to side. Thought Pulisic might have been off. He is. Still 3 nothing. Should be maybe 4 or 5. Come on, El Salvador. We might need you to do something for us because we look not capable. One of the goals is to win the Gold Cup. How are we going to do that when this team exists? I thought it was another penalty for sure. Might as well be. It's just a goal for Pulisic. There's nothing left to say. I mean, there's, there's, I've got nothing left to say about this performance. Six point twos, six point ones. I might never play this guy again. Saw the thorn is doing nothing. Gonzalez has been really pissing me off because he hasn't done anything either. Chuck Torres over there and bring on Bennett. We're making all five. Ron Wilson. Doesn't matter what we do. I mean, it really doesn't matter what we do, does it? Like, I guess maybe this worked a little bit. We're just way worse. We're just absolutely way worse. So I was so excited about the fact that we clawed it back to have a 2-2 draw at home against USA. Costa Rica is not as good. They're just not. Should I take him the Jamaica job? Maybe. Come on, El Salvador. Help us out. Honduras gets a point against USA. That's that's curtains probably. Five. It's gonna be five. Like I said, the challenge is. I mean, you just walk through. Good save. This goalkeeper has actually looked. Kind of decent in one-on-one -on -one situations. And he saved two penalties, I think, right, in this episode? But still, we just, we make all these tackles in the box that give away penalties like mad. This guy's done nothing. That go off him, too? We will never know. I guess we've played better since going down early. I mean, it was always a risk trying a little little formation change, but we're not going to get to see anything. Ruggiero's on a 6.0. Huge gaps. We have huge gaps in our team, and we definitely don't have the depth 
Got lucky there. To play four international games in a row with the number of players that I would actually consider to be competitive in this competition. We don't have enough. You need to be able to rotate. When you get to like the World Cup or playing a Gold Cup or the Nations League, which qualifies us for Copa America, if we can make one of those kind of things, like you need the depth to be able to rotate to be successful. And I don't think this nation has it. And I don't think it has the capability of getting it either. We'll see. We'll build what we can. Bennett's through on goal. Should have done better. And Honduras gets the win. So we are stuck. That was shocking. You played so bad. 6.1s. This guy really bothers me. Saprisa center back, he really bothers me. You weren't at your best, not happy. Not happy. Abysmal. Okay. What happened? Mea culpa. It's obvious. I know things look bad. We played well? No, we didn't. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't have any options. Kidding me? All right, so that hurts the goal difference, but it's still minus two because we did well against El Salvador and Honduras has not. They still have to play USA and we don't. So if we beat Honduras and beat El Salvador, we're qualified. We drop two places. Gomez isn't happy. I don't play Gomez. Deal with that one later. Antonio Conte gets the better of me. Pretty brutal episode. We gave up a boatload of goals. Ten goals against. Four for us in this episode. But anyways, we will be back for the Central American Cup. Semi-final against Punta Arenas. In a few days. Put this behind us. But hey, we're still we're still sticking around. USA is qualified. Jamaica, like I said, is good. They're qualified. Mexico, I'm sure, will be qualified shortly. So the best third place team, which might be in our wheelhouse, goes to the playoffs. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Because Suriname is only on two points, but Haiti's on six. They play Mexico and Curacao, so that's... And then Curacao plays St. Kitts and Nevis once. So that might be out of reach, third place. So we might, we really need to beat Honduras. Those games are in the middle of November. So that's around the same time, probably. Middle of November... Yeah, that's probably just before Central American Cup final if we get to that. So anyways, we'll be back for this, like I already said. Central American Cup semifinal. Thanks for watching the Costa Rica national team paid and train.